So as most know, I bought a uh, brand new 1745 John Deere planter. And uh, all except for row command, which gave me vacuum and everything else, forged it pretty simple. I got the cast iron uh, closing wheels and uh, plan on upgrading as needed to be or as need be later. So, uh, brand new planter, I'm tearing it apart. One of the things I'm doing is uh, get her twisters. So, uh, we're going to show you how to do that. And uh, another one I'm still trying to figure out is uh, Keaton seed firmers. No good instructions on them, uh, but and no real good videos on how to install them. So hopefully we can get something in this video to help people out. So I'm going to start with the uh, Yetter Twisters. I've done got one row done. Pretty straightforward. Um, 15 sixteenths in the impact. Take them off. But there's some setup to the new, to the twister, so I'll show you that. Well, I had these in a nice pile. And somebody on a bicycle knocked them over but you can see this one's got left with an arrow and this one's got right with an arrow and uh, we got packages of spacers and yes we are going to need those one of them's right hand thread the other one's left hand so you need to make sure what you're doing Just like I just did. I'm gonna loosen them up. And take them off. So your factory comes with a bolt, a spacer, and a washer. And uh, the aftermarkets, each unit come with a several washers and we're going to use two on each side and I'll explain that here in a second minute whatever it takes me so the reason why I put the shims on it and I played around with this first one uh, they recommend an inch and a quarter gap we're right at it and I may have to adjust that when I get to planting um, it depends on how well it's closing. I may have to take a shim out or add some to it. But an inch and quarter is a good starting spot. Well, I got all 16, all eight rows put together. Uh, I've already put one seed firmer on. Not many videos, not really any videos on how to put these on. How Farm Works done one and uh, he left some spots, uh, some stuff out because I think he was just replacing one. So I've done done one, see how it's done before I shoot video and we're fixing to do one and show you how it's done. Well, to put the seed firmers on, we got to take the gauge wheel and arm off. I'm taking them off together. Remember the left hand is uh, reverse threads. So uh, 
impact 15 16 I'm gonna get it loose and then uh, bring it back well correction the gauge wheels are both regular thread so next step is to take this scraper off uh, it's they're both held on with a spring I'm gonna put the camera down get them and then pop this uh, dust cover off with a screwdriver and I'll bring you back now this is where the left hand threads come in on the left hand side and uh, when you take these off be very careful there's some shims back here and we'll talk about them later so there's the shims I was talking about and uh, this is the bracket that mounts up to hold the seed uh, firmer in. So I'm gonna show you why I've got calipers and we're gonna take two of these out. So this piece right here goes over your, your stud that holds your disc openers on. So uh, don't know how well I can show this but we're right at 50 thousandths and those uh, shims are about 25 thousandths so we're taking two of them out and putting this on so we've got this installed it's still loose so it's time to put the firmer in and uh, put some screws in and Put it back together so there's the firmer there and seed will drop out of here into the trench and that will write it down uh we'll put this back together and talk about some things so we got two rows with the firmers already on it six more to go probably get them tomorrow and got all the uh, twisters on. If any of y'all's ever used uh, the twisters or the Keaton seed firmers, uh, let me know how you like them. Uh, the twisters came highly recommended. They make them in cast, and I originally wanted them in cast. But a uh, uh, local guy sells them. He recommended the plastics, they was cheaper and he was he didn't have any in stock it was going to be a weight on them so i did order these through perkins sales in missouri met them over at the memphis farm and gin show really good people and they recommended the plastic too so like i said we're we're improving this planter as we go and i'll show you what i'm thinking about doing so this is the front of the planter when it's twisted around in operating position and uh it's useless to me all this stuff right now and that was for bulk fill or liquid or dry fertilizer options no one in this area or not many has ran a starter or pop-up fertilizer oh, let's get out of the sun so uh a few are doing it this year i'm gonna say how they like it that might be a possible uh, something next year uh, another thing is is I almost bought some but row cleaners I've not ran coulters on a planter in about 10 years ordered it with the coulters um, so I don't know if I need row cleaners or not we're going to see this year how we like it without it um, I actually took them off my case planter my 1200 my old planter so we're gonna see how we like it and uh maybe in the in the market for some road road cleaners and uh y'all let me know what y'all like and maybe next year some precision planning on this on this uh planter here so uh kind of a short video we're about week week and a half from planting um kind of got behind on some spraying so this is it so thanks for watching 
God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next one, and it, it may be planting. So, see you then. By the way, it's done got hot here in Tennessee. Up in the 80s today, I've been sweating. This is coming off. Last video for a while with a beard.